Hi, my name is Arnel Custodio and welcome to another InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to reset your permalinks. By definition, permalinks are the permanent URLs to your individual posts, as well as categories and other lists of postings. A permalink is what another blogger will use to link to your article and how you might send a link to your story through email. So in order to understand how important permalinks are within your WordPress installation, I'm going to first show you where they are and how to find them and how you can change them and then also how they affect your links within your database. So first I'm going to go ahead and log into my WordPress administrator dashboard and here I'm already logged in and then if you close down to the bottom here where it says settings and you'll see permalinks as one of the options and click on permalinks. And here you can see this test site's default setting up here which gives you the kind of the unfriendly looking um, link that you see ending with a, a number p equals 123. Then you can also make it so um, make it much more logical for people to understand and here you can click on day name or month and name you can make it numeric or give it a base it on the post and you can even make up your own by clicking on custom structure and then typing in what you want for your own permalink settings. Permalinks are important because when you are working within a particular host, the URL is set within your database based on your permalink settings. So if you decide to move your WordPress installation from one host to another or change the domain name of your website, then you will want to make sure that your permalink settings are reset to default. When you actually look within the database for your WordPress site, and this is an example of one, you can see that the links for each individual post are saved in the database. If you decide to make your permalinks with a custom structure, these links are saved with that custom structure. Additionally, the links are saved based on the URL that you're using with your particular host. If you change the domain name, it affects your permalinks. So in order to reset these permalinks that are saved within the database, you would actually need to go back and click on the default setting within permalinks. When you click on default, it returns it back to the default settings that WordPress uses. And you click on save changes, it will rewrite the permalinks within your database. Once you've had them reset, you can go back to your original structure if you have a custom one or any of the settings that they use within WordPress. Make sure that you click on Save Changes when you return back to your custom structure or one of the default settings. In order to reset your permalinks within WordPress, log into the administrator, then click on Settings, and then click on Permalinks within that menu. When you see the Permalinks menu come up, you'll need to click on Default, and then click on Save. This resets the permalinks. Thanks for watching this InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave us a comment on what you would like to see in future videos. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.